Hi, my name is Amy from Step Extraction, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Step X3000 CO2 compressor and extraction machine. The first thing we're going to do is load the reactor vessel with material. We're going to put on a cap using special Teflon tape to prevent galling. We use this tape to prevent galling, mean that, meaning that the cap would be welded to the pipe. This just acts as a lubricant and it also helps with sealing. We put the end cap on, we put it on tight, and we use a pipe wrench to make sure that it's very tight. You'll notice that you need a vise in your shop to make this even simpler. Now we're going to load our reactor vessel with material. Today we are using lavender. This is our 0.3 liter reactor. We will use a funnel and our material. You can see that this material is very dry and we suggest that as well. We use a jamming rod basically to get it all packed in there. You can get as much material as you possibly can in there. You will never be able to get it more compressed than the CO2 is going to compress it later. Now that our reactor is filled with material, we want to put on our sublimation valve on the other end. We are going to put on the filter element and O-ring and screw on the sublimation valve very much the way we screwed on the other end. Again, we will be using Teflon tape to make a good lubricated connection. It also prevents galling. Again, using my vise and a pipe wrench, we can get this on there pretty tight. Now that we have material in our reactor vessel, it's time to mount it on the compressor hang it here and attach the hoses. This stainless steel hose comes from the compressor into the reactor. I can finger tighten it, then use a wrench to tighten it up a little bit more. Then I go from the collection vessel to the sublimation valve in the same way. Now it's time to turn on the compressor. The first thing I want to do is plug it in. And as the computer's booting up, now it's ready to go. Now I'm going to set the compressor at 2200 PSI and the sublimation pressure at 1800 PSI. And now I just hit run. Now it's time to turn on the CO2. 
We have two tanks here now. As you can see from the reactor, our lines are frozen here. Our coal trap collector is collecting all the oil that's coming out of our lavender today. And it's retaining more of the terpenes than it would if it weren't cold like this. push reset to get the sublimator and the compressor back at zero. I press run again. Now the compressor knows that it's no longer making compression, but it does get all the CO2 out of the system, sublimates everything else out through the reactor valve and into the collector. I also want to turn off both of my CO2 tanks. So close all the way. There is still some residual CO2 in the system, so I come around to the bleed valve and I just let it go. and also the power to the sublimation valve. So I'm using a pipe wrench to remove the sublimation valve. You can see that the material in there is very dry and very loose. You can see the filter is very clear. And using a pipe wrench, I remove the other end cap as well. My bucket. And with a jamming rod or a screwdriver, I just remove the material from inside. Now it's time to open up the collection vessel to see what's inside. I wipe up all the condensation to make sure that no water interacts with my material on the inside. This is always a low pressure vessel, so it's pan tightenable. <laughs>
You can see that this lavender oil that came directly out of the machine had no post-processing, none is required. It's very clear, there's no particulate matter in it. It's in a liquid state and it's ready to use.